hey, double eagle, listen, do you hear something? Take a moment and listen to the sounds all around you. What did you hear? Footsteps, typing, talking, pets? All sound comes from vibrations in the air. We can't usually see sound, but we can see things vibrate because of sound. To vibrate means to move back and forth really fast. This speaker is vibrating with a low enough frequency that it is bouncing around. Here's a piano string vibrating. We can also see how sound makes this paper vibrate while the trombone is being played. We can make the air vibrate on our vocal cords when we talk. Try this with me. Put your hands on your throat right here where you can feel your vocal cords vibrating. And let's make some different sounds. Start low. And then higher. Can you feel the difference in the vibrations making low sounds and high sounds? Try a few more. How are low sounds different from high sounds? Low sounds vibrate more slowly and high sounds vibrate more quickly. We've been talking a lot about how computers send and store information of different kinds. Well, how can computers send and store sounds? They can record vibrations with a microphone, like this one. The microphone turns vibrations into electrical signals, and the computer stores those electrical signals as numbers, just like we saw how it could store text and pictures as numbers. When it needs to play a sound, it turns those numbers back into electrical signals and sends them through the speaker, which vibrates in the same way that the microphone vibrated to recreate those same sounds. Today, you are going to do some experiments with sound by making a musical instrument. In your stem packet, there should be a paper plate and two rubber bands. If you don't have a stem packet, you can find some rubber bands and anything that has an empty space or you can stretch the rubber bands over and they'll have room to vibrate, like a plate or a bowl or a cup or a toilet paper tube or a Kleenex box or a cardboard box. And we just need to have room for the rubber bands to vibrate. So to make your instrument, place one end of the rubber band up here and kind of pinch it in place. Then pull it down over the plate. Now, if we do this too close to the edge, it'll just slip off. So do it kind of near the middle. Then you can do the same thing with your other rubber band. Pinch it at the top and stretch it over the plate. Now, if we pluck the rubber bands, we can see a vibration and hear a note. If we want to play a higher note, we can make the rubber band shorter by pressing down at different spots. That will make it vibrate faster and make a higher sound. Today we're going to use an online tool called an oscilloscope to visualize sound. An oscilloscope is a tool that lets us see sound waves, kind of the way a computer sees them. Open up your STEM packet to page 9, where it says Computer Sound. On your Chromebook, after you watch this video, you'll need to open up a new tab and type in the URL that it says, academo.org. Then we'll click on Virtual Oscilloscope, and it should come up with this page that has a green box here. We'll click Yes to let it use our microphone, and now when we make sounds, it will show a picture of those sounds on the green part of this page. Test it by making some different sounds. You can use your instrument or use your voice, and it will show you what those sounds look like. We're going to draw some different sounds in these four boxes on your sheet. It might be easier if you make a sound, and in the middle of the sound, you can click this box that says Freeze Live Input. Then you can draw what you see. Let's do the low and high ones together. In order to compare better, I'm going to try and make the low sounds and the high sounds about the same volume. We'll just change one thing at a time so we can compare better. So I'm going to use a low voice and say, and freeze the input. Here's our sound wave. It looks very long and wide, doesn't it? Let's draw a picture of it right here. Now let's do the high one. And freeze that. Oh, look how the waves are more squished together. That's showing how the sound is vibrating faster. We can draw that one right here. 
do the same thing for soft and loud. Just make sure you keep them at the same pitch so that we're only changing one thing at a time. That will give us a good comparison. I also want you to try and see what the sound waves for your musical instrument look like. Take a picture of your page and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making beautiful sounds.